I'm Jennifer Metherill here at Marketo and I work on the SMB consulting team. And today I'm speaking with Rebecca Wiegart and Michael Hayden from GoAnimate about their ABM strategy. So what led your company to decide to do ABM marketing? We decided at GoAnimate to um, venture into ABM um, when we went from a completely online strategy to both an online and offline strategy. Um, we had brought in a sales team and SDRs, and at that point, the decision was made that ABM was the best way to move forward to get large enterprise accounts. And when you guys first started down this account-based marketing journey, what were some of the first things that you decided to execute on? One of the first things we did um, is alignment. Uh, it was very, very important for myself and the sales VP um, Mitch Musgrove to really make sure that we're completely aligned. How are you guys measuring the success of, of your account-based marketing today? I am looking at a couple different areas, pipeline being a, a big one, but same, Michael is looking at demos and meeting requests with his SDRs. We're just not tossing it as quickly as you would with a traditional marketing campaign if it's not working. And what do you think you would tell any company who's deciding to go into account-based marketing? What are the things that they need to consider before they even start the process? It's a long-term strategy. So it's not traditional marketing spray and pray, that didn't work, change it, redo. Um, you really have to make sure that you're in it for the long haul. So you have to you know, give things time to mature and to progress and you have to have the data. The thing to keep in mind about ABM is these are large companies. You know, we're talking for us, it's, you know, any a company over 5,000 employees. So it's, they're large enterprises. And for most businesses, they're going to be all large enterprises and they're going to be your average deal size is very large. So Correct. it takes a longer time to get them to make that type of purchase. And so you really want to make sure you have multiple touch points and areas of success for them. Since your team is, you deal with the SDRs and lead generation, how are they using the Marketo ABM app today that's influenced and made their job a little bit easier? They're paying attention a lot to the pipeline um, and different metrics that are available through the Marketo ABM tool. And um, the VP of sales works very closely with Rebecca on a day-to-day -day basis um, to review what's going out. I use it to also gauge you know, how we're performing uh, and then also make adjustments um, that I could work with the SDR on. What do you think the future looks like for you with related to your strategy? ABM really is a long strategy, so you yeah. need to be looking far into advance. So we've already you know, started the building blocks for 2018. We've started looking in, at you know, what's next for us and, and really making sure that we're headed in that direction. Definitely pays off because those average deal sizes are astronomically higher than Absolutely. your traditional marketing approaches.